G'day guys, welcome me and I'm Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig and it has been a moment. I think it's been about three weeks since my last video uploaded and I will get to the reasons why. Well, it, let's just get to it now. Uh, if you follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram or anything like that, you might have seen me post that my little ones caught COVID. So um, it's been a bit of a spell. Um, they're completely fine. Um, in fact, we actually wouldn't have known that it was COVID if my youngest didn't have type 1 diabetes and he didn't uh, create ketones, which is what put him in hospital. Uh, other than that, he had like a headache for two days and um, a temperature. But other than that, like absolutely no symptoms whatsoever. Anyway, I digress. He's fine. But I just... There's been so much going on that I haven't had the hmm, motivation, I guess, to sort of record. And in that time, I would have recorded a new makeup nonsense bingo. Um, and I had another video planned as well, but that's kind of gone. That's gone. It was one of those um, videos of opportunities. But anyway, I digress. Uh, I do want to talk to you today about some of the things that I've noticed has been released in, say, like the past month, month and a half, maybe even two months, um, that might have popped up in my new makeup nonsense bingo video that I had have done but we're going to target things that I'm definitely looking at for one reason or another and why and um, if you just want to sit back and just talk this is just going to be completely low-key nothing like really really informative just just things that I've got my eye on and um, yeah I think maybe next month I might actually do an update video on my um, current wish list for this year because it has definitely changed. I think brands are picking up their game now um, since sort of COVID, well it's not gone is it but I don't know it just doesn't seem to be uh, as spoken about as much you know people aren't trapped in their um, houses or in you know in their towns as much as they were before and so people are getting out and about and so makeup is being worn more often and I find that I'm even putting up putting on makeup a little bit more often um, there was a spell there where I didn't put lipstick on at all I mean like what's the point other than making myself feel good but it would get all over the mask and like smear and unless you're using like a, a liquid lipstick or something like matte that really dried down there was just no point so um yeah, if you just want to kick back and kill some time with me and uh, hear what I have to say about some of the products that are being released, uh, stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. All right, you know what? Let's get straight into it. One of the things that have caught my eye is the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Moisturizer. This I find very, very different. So, um, I don't know. I'm excited about it. There's something about the packaging of this that's just so clean I guess I don't know there's something about it I want now I love hyaluronic acid um, I used to use a hyaluronic acid serum but I've swapped to a um, the buffet one I just feel like I get more out of it because obviously with hyaluronic acid it's like you need to keep on using it it's like a daily sort of thing it just helps keep the moisture into your skin helps retain every day makes it look plump every day but you've got to use it every day to see the benefits of it and like you know, you can't just stop um, and then a week later expect the hyaluronic acid to still be working in your skin. It's it's a daily sort of thing. Anyway, this has blue hyaluronic acid in it, which apparently Laneige claims that it goes through a 10-step concentration and purification process that makes it 2,000 times smaller than previous hyaluronic acid molecules, therefore apparently making it easier to absorb into the skin. This is innovative and I like this. I, I think this is this is something that I want to try out. Now here's the problem. I have a plethora of moisturizers in my current wish list um, that I want to try. Uh, <laughs> so I got it in my phone because my memory at the moment is I don't know what's going on. So I want to try the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream just because. It's one of those things that everybody's spoken about for so long now, and I just want to see what all the hype is about. But there's nothing really in it that sort of goes, like, pulls to me and goes, you've got to try this. I just want to try it for the sake of trying it. It looks luxurious, and I want, I, I, yeah. People say the smell is fantastic too. Like, it's got an iconic smell to touch it. And I want to know what that is. I don't know what that is. So there's that one that I want to try. But then there's also the First Aid uh, Beauty Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. I want to try this one too because this one's been recommended by a lot of dermatologists. Um, it helps boost collagen in the skin. I like that. So I definitely want to try that one as well. 
But then there's also the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. This one was recommended by, oh my gosh, I can't remember them, but they're, they're two dermatologists um, and, you know, they hype this up a lot. I also love the packaging of this, like the airless pump. Um, I really, really enjoy this and there's something about this that I really, really want to try. And it's, it's going to be really hard to pick which moisturizer I'm going to choose next. I'm actually running out of my Clinique, Clinique um, moisturizer and I definitely want to try something new. Um... But I don't want to be adding too many different moisturizers in my skincare routine at once because if I have a reaction, I'm not going to know which one it is. So I need to figure out which one I'm going to pick. There is more though. I want to try the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Now, I'm actually getting a sample of this, a 7ml sample of this because I've got an order coming from Sephora uh, this week. Actually, I think it's I think it's already at the post office ready to pick up, so I'm a little bit excited about that. Now, I know it's only a... Um, a sample but sometimes I just need a sample to know whether I'm going to love something maybe not long term but like straight away like the small things like am I going to have a skin reaction to it am I going to end up with a headache because of like overly scented um, moisturizers so there's a couple of things that I can tell by using a sample straight away whether I'm gonna love it or not so I guess that's going to save me some money um, being able to try that and I'm looking forward to it but if I love it then there's that one so if I love this then how am I going to justify buying one of the other ones if I'm going to fall in love with this one that could be tricky and um yeah and the other one that's on my list is Jeffree Star Skin um I'm actually going to talk about that uh, today with you guys. So maybe I'll talk to you guys about that one next after I'm finished with Delaunay's Waterbank Hyaluronic moisturizer but um yeah you can see my conundrum i've got what is it five one two three four five yeah i mean there's five other moisturizers that were already on my list to try before we even started talking about laneige so mm, i don't know what i'm gonna do so while i like the idea of hyaluronic acid in my skincare i'm not sure if hyaluronic acid alone in my skincare is going to be enough to make me pull the trigger but i am definitely curious about this and i'd love to give it a go even if it was just like um my morning moisturizer uh, because i moisturize morning and night um but um my moisturizer for night time i like to keep pretty basic because i use a retinol so um hmm Maybe, maybe we can see. Anyway, let's move on. I said I was going to talk to you about the Jeffree Star one. Now, I apologize if you don't like Jeffree Star, but I'm not talking about the man. Let's just talk about the products. Um, so his skincare line. I'm not going to lie. I know the packaging is really pretty, pretty um, pink, but I, I kind of like it. Okay, I really do. Now, there is a few products that I want to try from his line. Not all of them. I think that the eye cream... While the metal um, applicator would be delightful, um, I've heard some things that relate to the fact that the eye cream is more like a makeup product. Like it's more of a, um, it doesn't actually really fix anything. It just sort of masks it. I don't know if this is true or not. I don't really seem to get much results out of eye creams. Um, and I just sort of figured that my natural moisturizer is just going to go up into that area anyway. I don't know. I don't know. There's so many claims and I don't know what to believe. But um, I do want to try, what is it? He's got a, um, he has a cleansing balm. I want to try this. I think this would be delightful. He also has a different cleanser. I think a gel cleanser. I don't really care about that one so much. Um, I love oil cleansers, balms, um, and stuff like that. That's more up my alley, probably because I have dry skin. But that one looks amazing. I also really, really, really want to try his moisturizer. There is something about that, and especially the packaging. But the ingredients that he has in the moisturizer sounds delightful. And it seems like he's done his homework with this. Um, so I really do want to try that. I want to see if it's any good. Um... The other products, you know, give or take. I mean, the toner seems like a pretty basic toner to me. Um, he's got other products there, and I just, you know, I'm not even paying attention. I can't even remember. I don't know. I want I want the cleanser, and I want the moisturizer. They're the two that are really jumping out at me. Some of the other things have got absolutely fantastic ingredients in them. Um, I just, I'm just not drawn to those ones as much as I am the cleanser and the moisturizer. So... That might be something that I pick up in the future, especially the cleanser. I mean, right now I'm using um, a Pharmacy Good Apple. Is it a good apple? 
the pharmacy cleanser. I don't know. I'll put a picture up on the screen. I love that. I love, 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 love that. So um, what I love about Jeffree Star's, uh, what is it? His cleanser, whatever, the um, the balm one is the magnetic uh, scooper that attaches itself to the top of the lid. I think that is fantastic. Um, the pharmacy one that I'm using at the moment, you take the lid off and there's a little insert where the, um, where the ladle sits, but sometimes when it gets a bit manky, it sort of suctions up into the top of the lid and you can't get it out and it's a pain in the ass. So I do love the idea that Jeffree Star has made a magnetic, magnetic, uh, like ladle that sits on the top. Um, and it won't get lost and it's hygienic as well. So that is the reason why I want to try that. So let's move on to the next thing, which is the Sol de Janeiro Elasticity Boosting Body Cream. Now I got a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this brand and I don't know if I can really call it a love-hate relationship. Look, I've only tried one thing from the brand, but it it was, it's it's very, very hyped up. So I'm not gonna, it's the bum bum cream. You, you knew it was the bum bum cream, yeah. Anyway. Everybody goes nuts over the fucking bum bum cream. Um, and I ended up trying it. I picked up like a Christmas special at one stage. It was like a little pack and it had the bum bum cream and bum bum scented um, mist. I don't know. Uh, body wash. Something like that. They were all sort of minis, right? And I thought I was going to love this. I did read all the reviews. 50% loved it. 50% hated it. Unfortunately, I'm the 50% that hated it. But not because of the formula. The formula is fantastic. I love what it did to my skin but the scent is so strong instantly like I almost didn't need to take the lid off to smell this shit but when I did take the lid off and I just got one whiff not even a big huff but just one whiff bang right here the pain and then it shot straight up into like oh my gosh it was horrendous um, and I, I wanted to love it so much I tried it a couple of times to see whether maybe I could get used to the scent and I couldn't and then so I thought, well, hmm, I don't want to waste it. It is a good product. Got a teenager in the house, um, handed it down to her, and she absolutely loved it. Problem was, is that I had to smell it for the next month. <laughs> um, but I, I guess it wasn't as strong because it wasn't on my skin. Now, when it is on your skin, it you can smell it all day long. Like, it is good stuff, right? That hasn't turned me away from wanting to try all of the other ones. Now, I think there is, uh, don't quote me, let me just have a look at my photographs. I think there is five. Um, nope, four. There are four different types of creams, um, and I've only tried the Bum Bum Cream. Uh, so we have the, um, what is it, the Bom Dia Bright Cream, uh, which gently retexturizes and brightens. This has vitamin C and fruit AHAs, so that's interesting. Um, then we have the uh, Coco Cabana, and that hydrates. That's got coconut and acai, acai oil and Capuca butter? I'm not going to be able to say that very well. So the Coco Cabana, it's a deeply hydrating one. I would like to try this. Um, look, I am really worried about the scent of these things. I love hydrating moisturizers though. I don't think I would use this on my face, especially if it is highly scented, but I wouldn't mind trying it. Um, I'm just not sure though, because I don't really like coconut scented products. Um, I like coconut, don't get me wrong, I like to eat coconut, but I don't really like heavy coconut scent in things. Um, so then there is the new one, The and I'm going to murder this title, but this is the Beja Floor Elasti, which boosts elasticity and has cacao oil in it that mimics retinol. This sounds interesting. Um, and I would like to try it, but I'm concerned. I mean, I... Okay, so I only use retinol at the moment on my face, uh, and I probably wouldn't use this on my face, even though you can use it on your face, but I never really thought about using a retinol or something that mimics a retinol on the rest of my body. I've recently been thinking about it for my hands, because for most of my life I've had really old looking hands, if you get a real good close up look. They're creepy, uh, and they always have been. Um, just very, very worked, old hands, and it makes me self-conscious. So I've been actually thinking about using retinol on my hands. So why not use it on the rest of my body? I really want to try this. Um, 
like I said, the only reason why I haven't pulled the trigger on any more of the um, Sol de Janeiro products is because I'm concerned that the heavy scents, I know they all have a different scent, but I'm concerned that the heavy scents are going to be too much for my sinus and my head, um, which is why I haven't pulled the trigger. But I may, I may do that. I'm running out of my body butters, I'm running out of my hand creams, um, so I, I do want to try something soon, and this might be something that I try even if it's just for my hands, I'm not sure yet. But I think that's very, very interesting. So let's move on to the next product, which is the Give Me Glow Bad Mood versus Good Mood Palette. And I think this is pretty. These are my sort of colours that I would gravitate towards. I don't know, there's just something about this that I think is smart. I absolutely love the packaging. It's adorable. Um, I gravitate towards um, one side more than the other. I guess that would be the bad mood, the sort of darker, more grungy, nighttime sort of look. I love that. I love it. Absolutely stunning. Um, I haven't really been pulled into wanting to buy a palette for quite some time. You know, I've got, I've got, what have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got like seven palettes, right? They're all different, but there's something about this one. Um, I've not tried Give Me Glow Cosmetics, that's the other thing that makes me want to try it as well. This looks fabulous, and I think that I would probably utilise 90% of this palette, whereas a lot of palettes that I do have, I might only use like 25, maybe maximum 50% of the palette, um, which is what stops me from spending big bucks on palettes, because I've, I've realised that I usually only buy it because of a couple of colours, and then it's like, really? I mean... <sighs> And then I try and find those same colours in a mini palette somewhere else and it's just it just doesn't happen. Um, that's a pain in the ass. I think that's a real problem. <laughs> that's why I love these companies that you can buy the individual colours. Um, but they don't all do that. Anyway, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got it in my wish list. I don't know whether I'm going to pick this up. Um, I do think that I do have some of these or a lot of these colours already. And I think that it is the... Um, yeah, it's predominantly the um, the bad mood side that I'm drawn towards and that I really want, especially those two, um, well, actually, those top four shades. That's what's draw that's what's like, <laughs> that's what's drawing me in. But anyway, I digress. Let's move on to a pharmacy product. Now, I haven't done much research um, on this product itself. I know I like the brand because I currently use their um, cleansing balm and I love the shit out of that. Like, I can't hype that up enough. It is probably one of the best, um, let's call it skincare, it's skincare, one of the best skincare products that I own. Nothing compares to it right now. Um, <laughs> I, I just don't care. I, I love it. Now... This is a, well, it says it's a 10% waterless vitamin C serum. I was looking into wanting to try vitamin C a little while ago, but all the research that I was doing, especially from dermatologists, dermatologists were just saying that it's it's shit, that don't even bother. You know, some people say that it works, rah, 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 rah but that it's highly unstable, um, and it's just not worth it, you know, all the trouble that you can have with vitamin C serums. So I kind of went off it, um... Yeah, I might turn back around to it. But when I saw this, just from the packaging alone, I'm like, ooh, um, this interests me. I don't know whether I'm going to buy it, but this interests me. Um, I don't know whether the 10% waterless part of it makes it more stable or not. I, I really don't know enough about vitamin C. I just know that I wanted to use it um, because of the brightening agents in it, you know, the, the brightening, the, the targets, dark spots and all that sort of stuff. That's why I wanted vitamin C because I did have dark spots and my face can be quite dull at times. Um, so, yeah, this is something that I'm looking into a little bit more. It sparked my interest. Um, it looks interesting, and I like the brand, so it might be something that I try in the future. I think I'm just going to have to pull the trigger. Like, despite what's being said about vitamin C, I think I'm just going to have to buy one, try it, see what I think. Um, maybe it's a placebo effect on some people. Maybe it's not. Who knows? I haven't tried it. I should try it. Anyway, I don't know. It's on, it's on my list. Um... We'll see what happens in the future. Let's move on to the next thing, which is ColourPop. Now, ColourPop pump out so much that I usually I don't pay attention, but they did bring out the Avatar collection. 
And I went through a phase where, actually, I was an adult, um, but I went through a phase where I binge-watched the shit out of all of the avatars. I loved that cartoon. Um, and I saw the palette, and I thought, yeah, okay, the palette does sort of look avatar-ish. Um, the palette really didn't intrigue me that much. Don't get me wrong, there's some shades in here that I'm looking at and I'm like, hmm, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but like there's blues in there and I probably won't use those blues. There's sort of reds in there or like a, a berry sort of shade that I probably won't use either. A lot of the palette I wouldn't use and that's probably why I'm not going to purchase that. However, that upper mirror, I'm looking at that and I'm like, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. I might actually get that mirror. I love that mirror, it is so fucking cute. Packaging, guys. I mean, sometimes that's all it takes is packaging. I don't know how much it is, but if it's too expensive, like whatever. But if it's a, if it's a decent price, I probably will pick this up. I think it's absolutely adorable. Um, damn you, Colourpop. <laughs> but, you know, there's some nice things in, in this release if you're into um, Avatar, even if you're not. That, that palette's nice, but... I'm a bit fussy about what I put on my eyes, so I just can't justify that palette. Mind you, I'm going to justify another palette soon that I'm not going to use all the shades on. So anyway, let's move on to that palette, which is the Melt Cosmetics Gemini 1 and Gemini 2 palette. Now, when the Gemini 1 came out, I wasn't in that state where I liked those grungy kind of colours, right? I thought it looked cool, right? Something do different, something new. Um, but I hadn't seen too many people with blue eyes wear those grungy sort of colours. Um, and as I started seeing it more and more on people, I started realising that, hey, I like what I'm seeing and I, I want I want that on my face. But by the time I came to that realisation, I couldn't get the Gemini palette anymore. And then there was that whole saga about um, Melt Cosmetics and their eyeshadows puffing up and getting all weird and shit. And then I freaked out and then I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I am not buying from Melt Cosmetics. I've been like that with every single release that they've brought out. There's been some there where I'm like, ooh, ooh. I want it, but still, that whole issue, I didn't pull the trigger. But then they brought out the Gemini 2 and re-released the Gemini 1 with new packaging and new embossing on there. Not that I care about the embossing on the eyeshadows themselves or even the packaging that much. Um, but I, I paid attention. I love four shades in the Gemini 2. And that's so bad. I, I'm not going to purchase the Gemini 2. No way in hell. There is just too much there that I will not use. But here's the thing. Like, Gemini 2. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. There's probably six shades that I will ever, like, either never use or ever use. Like, you know, never use or rarely use. Um... But those greeny, grungy colours, oh my god, I want them. And they are different to Gemini 1. Now, I'm trying to justify Gemini 1 to myself, guys. Those four greeny, yellow shades at the end, and even some of like the yellow and the um, browns on the other side. Mm. Mm. Now, I don't really give a shit about that black. I wish that black wasn't there. Um, but, man, I wish... I wish Gemini, no, I wish Melt would let me create my own palette because I would, I would take out that black. I'd probably even take out, um, actually, I'd probably take out the first two shades in the Gemini 1 and the black and I'd replace it with those three greens that are in the Gemini 2 and then I would buy the shit out of that, like, <clears throat> like straight away, uh, take my money. <sighs> I want Gemini 1, if you hadn't noticed. And I would love to have those three um, last shades in the Gemini too. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to justify it, guys. Like, once I slap postage on there, I'm looking at probably $90. And I, I know I really love the shades, like those green grungy shades in the um, Gemini 1, but can I justify it? I'm not sure if I can. Right at this minute, I'm, I'm indecided. If they turn around and said, hey, guys, make your own palette, fuck yes. 
I would be all over that. I would be all over that. Now, I do prefer the old packaging for the Gemini 1 palette. I do want to say that. I don't really care for this new packaging. I couldn't give a shit about the embossing either. Um, but yeah, Mel, if you're listening, please make palettes that we can customise ourselves because oh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to buy Gemini 2. No fucking way. Three shades, pretty much is all I want out of that. I can't justify that. And 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 really, I mean, in the Gemini one, there's four, five, maybe six shades out of, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, yeah, six. I mean, there's a little bit more, but there's still four shades of, help me guys. Anyway, look, as time goes by, I'm like, mm, 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 I'm probably going to get the Gemini one. That now is, um, permanent but the Gemini 2 is limited edition so if you do want the Gemini 2 if that's up your alley I'd suggest you get it um I just can't justify it I love it so much anyway let's move on to the next thing I want to talk to you about Fenty Beauty Bronze and Highlight Palette this one caught my attention and to be honest with you it caught my attention because I'm liking some of the things that I'm seeing from Fenty I think this is pretty um, and I don't know why I want this, but I have a funny feeling it's because I want something else from Fenty that is a, um, a bronzer that I could use as a contour shade, a cream contour. And I think that's why I'm gravitating towards this, not necessarily because I want this palette, but because I wanted that cream bronzer contour from Fenty. But I think this is very interesting as well. And if this just fell into my lap, I would definitely experiment with this bad boy. I think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. The shades in there, versatile. Um, I like it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to pick this one up. I think I might definitely go and pick up that other one. God, I wish I could remember what it was called, but I'm going to leave it on the screen somewhere, obviously, for you guys. But yeah, I think this is interesting. This definitely piqued my attention, but I'm not sure if it piqued my attention because of the product itself or because it reminded me of something that I wanted to buy from Fenty. So let's move on from that and let's talk about NARS. Now, NARS has brought out a lip mask, um, which is the Orgasm Lip Mask, and I think it looks lovely. There's not much else about it. I mean, the packaging is stunning, even though it's pretty basic packaging. But there's just something about this that I want to try. I don't know why. Like, I've been really getting into skincare and looking after my lips and everything like that because they tend to get kind of crusty, flaky very easily. Like, ooh, dry. I'm like a dry, crusty mummy, guys. You know this. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it's got some good oils in it. I don't know how good they are for lips or skin, but um, it's got some nice stuff in it. Um, how good that is for the skin? Hmm. I don't know, but I definitely want to try this. I want to add it um, to my collection of current lip balms and lip treatments. And I just think that this is pretty. Oh yeah, I think I've only got one last thing to talk about, guys. Let me see. Let me see. I got it all written down here, you see, because my brain just ain't keeping all the information in it lately. Yeah, I think so. The next thing I want to talk about is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns and the Golden Hour Palette. These look really basic, right? But there's no hmm, confusion really about what you're going to do. I mean, it's a fi five pan palette. I look at this and I immediately, I can immediately think of two or three looks that I want to do that I reckon I'd do on a regular basis. Now, I'm drawn more towards the, um, the browns palette than I am the gold now, but I like them both. I'm so pissed off. I didn't realize that my camera had stopped recording and I just kept on going. So I have no idea where I am, but I'm pretty sure that we're at Dose of Colors. Now, I think I was saying that, I think I already have the Dose of Colors colors already in two palettes that I have here, which are two Too Faced palettes, actually. Um, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes. I'm pretty sure that um, I have everything I need that I could use to recreate any of the shadow looks in both of these Dose of Color palettes. But what I like about it is that the Dose of Color palettes are small, they're compact. Um, I can open it up and I can immediately know what I'm going to do, what look I'm going to do with those palettes. Plus they're travel friendly and I have not tried Dose of Colors before. So that's what gets me a little bit excited about it. Now, will I buy them? I don't know. I don't know. My radar is looking at them, but much like my wish list, I could have 50 things on my wish list and by the end of the year, I've booted 25 of them off 
don't want them anymore. And that's why I do wish lists. Not that this is a wish list, but that's why I do wish lists. Because sometimes I look at something and I go, I gotta have it. But then I sit on it and then I'm like, eh, this is one of those. I'm not sure. I like it. But you see, there's so many other quads and um, even six pan palettes that are similar to this that I think I want more than these Dose of Colors ones. I can't remember all of the brands that have brought them out, but I know, I believe Charlotte Tilbury has got one, a four pan palette. I believe Tom Ford has one that I've been like, ooh, I don't know. Um, there are more. I just can't remember off the top of my head right now which palettes there are, but there are some brown palettes that I definitely don't need that are drawing my attention. Dose of Colors is just one of them, but it's probably on the lower end out of those other ones that I just mentioned. Um, yeah. I like it. I really, really do. Um, but I like some of other palettes that I've seen, the four pan palettes that I've seen a little bit better than this one. So I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future. Let's move on to what? I don't actually know. Are we finished? I think we might be finished, guys. Um, any hoosies, guys. I think that's pretty much it. I think I've spoken about everything. I just got thrown because of my camera. Um, I just wanted to sit back and, and, and just have a chat with you guys. And if you want to have a chat with me, feel free to comment down below. As soon as I see it, I will get back to you. Um, and yeah, I just, I miss you guys. I miss talking to the camera. I miss editing. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy doing the editing. It's therapeutic to me. Uh, even though it can take so long sometimes, especially with me because like, bleh, I, I mumble jumble and mess up all over the place. You should see it. Um, anywho, guys, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video, which hopefully won't be too far away. Everybody's on the mend at the moment. We're not out of the woods yet. We're, you know, we're still in lockdown. But um, I do look forward to seeing you guys in the future and um, hit me up for a chat if you want. Bye, guys.